Next section on the nomenclature fundamentals is talking about acids and bases, and we're going to start with acids. And, oop, I'm forgetting a D here. Um, acids are substances that when you place them in water in an aqueous solution, as we call it, they, um, oh, wow, I'm messing up all kinds of things here. This should be an N. Um, and we place them in an aqueous solution or water, they will disassociate, as we call it. Something will come off of that molecule, and that something is what we call a hydrogen ion, a positive hydrogen ion. So it's a hydrogen without its electron, will then free float in the water, and that will then make that water more acidic, as we call it. It will lower what we call the pH, and that's, of course, another lecture. But uh, that's, how we know this, that's how we know that we're dealing with an acid. When you put it in water, H's appear all over the water, making the water more acidic. So, for example, when we have this compound right here, it's called hydrogen chloride. That's the name we're used to giving it. This is also called hydrochloric acid. So no, notice the difference. So we still use hydro starting, but instead of saying hydrogen chloride, we say hydrochloric. So we take the second element, we start with that name, and then we put an IC behind it, and then we call it an acid. So hydrogen chloride is actually hydrochloric acid. So here we have hydrogen and fluorine, so normally we call that hydrogen fluoride, but since it's an acid, because when we place this in water, the hydrogen and the fluorine will disassociate, the hydrogen will then free float in the water, making the water more acidic, and so we call that hydro and then fluor fluoric acid. Definitely missing a Y, yes, I'm missing all kinds of letters today. There we go, hydrofluoric acid. So that's what we call it since it's an acid. Here we have hydrogen and bromide, so we call this hydrobromic acid. And here we have hydrogen and iodine, so we call this hydro iodic, because that would from iodine, we call it iodic acid. And here we have hydrogen and cyanide, so we call that hydrocyanic acid. And here we have hydrogen and sulfide. We normally would call that bihydrogen sulfide or hydrogen sulfide. And, but since it's an acid, because one of those hydrogens will disassociate from, the, from that molecule in water, so we call that hydro. And since we have sulfur here, we call it sulfuric acid. So those are the common names of acids typically made from uh, molecules that have two elements belonging to them. In this case, of course, CN, which is the cyanide uh, compound mixed with hydrogen makes hydrocyanic acid. But now we have something different. This here is not called hydrobromatic acid or something like that. This is the bromate ion, so we call this bromic acid, and we drop the hydro from the name. So this is called bromic acid. Here we have the carbonate item, so we call that carbonic acid. Again, we do not use the name hydro in front, so when we have these kind of ions, we simply take the name of the ion, add it to it, and call it acid. So we have the nitrate ion, so we call that nitric acid. Here we have the sulfate ion, so we call that sulfuric acid. Now, of course, hmm, that's not the format of the acid. We need to t turn into an acid by, of course, adding some hydrogen to it. So in this case, uh, this is the ion, but turned into an acid, we need to add two hydrogen so that would be H2CO3. So that's called carbonic acid. Nitrate acid is minus, uh, uh, the nitrate ion is minus one, so we add one hydrogen to it. So nitric acid is HNO3. Here, this is a sulfate ion, we want to turn it into sulfuric acid, so we call that sulfuric acid. And of course, to turn that into sulfuric acid, we're going to need to add two hydrogens to it because it's two minus, so this becomes uh, H2SO4. And finally, we have the chlorate ion, so that becomes a chloric acid, but we have to add, of course, one hydrogen to it, so we call that chlor chloric acid, and that will become HClO3. So, that, those are the names of some of the more common acids. Of course, there's many, many dozens of different acids that will have different names, but at least this gives you a good start on how to name them. When we have a molecule that has just two elements to it, we typically call it hydro, and then 
the second element with an ick behind it, an acid. So we have hydrochloric acid, hydrofluoric acid, hydrobromic acid, hydroiodic acid, hydrocyanic acid, and hydrosulfuric acid. But then when we're dealing with these ions like bromate, uh, carbonate, uh, nitrate, sulfate, and chlorate, then we name it a little bit different. We simply go for the ion name with an ick behind it and we call it acid. So bromate becomes bromic acid. Um, carbonate becomes carbonic acid, nitrate becomes nitric acid, sulfate becomes sulfuric acid, and chlorate becomes chloric acid when added to the hydrogens that of course then make it into an acid. So that's the nomenclature for basic acids.